Our top story tonight, two local cities fighting crime with community outreach. In Portsmouth, a rally to build a youth center the city council voted against. And in Newport News, the Southeast Community Day Parade and Festival. The goal of both events to take back the streets from crime and violence. And some big names are getting involved. 10 on your side, Lauren Compton joins us live in Newport News. Lauren. And we are at the Dr. Martin Luther King Plaza here in Newport News. Things are wrapping up here at the Southeast Community Day Parade and Festival. As you can see behind me, people are packing up. But earlier, this was the scene of the festival. A lot of people out here enjoying the music and food, having a good time. And as you mentioned, a lot of big names are out here too, including Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter, Dr. Bernice King. She was the keynote speaker today. It was a really special moment for her and for the people involved in this. She rededicated her father's memorial and encouraged people to be the type of change they want to see in their community. Organizers tell me this festival really is, it really is put together to uplift people in a community where they don't always feel safe. And once organizers say they get people here, they then turn around and offer them resources available in the community. We are out there to decrease teen pregnancy, decrease high school dropout rate, more jobs, increase production, increase the standard of living for this community. They need a lot of more things up in this area. Um, skating rings, any kind of thing to keep the children active right, instead of just the crime. Oh but just bring out some positive things to build it back up. And this is the 23rd year of this festival. It will wrap up with a gospel concert tonight and tomorrow at the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center. And we have that information for you on wavy.com. Reporting live in Newport News, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.